Hello. My name is Tom Burrish. I'm the provost at the University of Notre Dame. Let me say first that I hope and pray that you and your family are all safe and healthy as we face the uncertainty caused by the coronavirus. Our campus, no doubt like your high schools, is eerily quiet since almost all of our students are home taking their courses online. Under normal circumstances, of course, I'd be speaking to you in person. But as you know, these are anything but normal circumstances. We hope and expect that we will be back to normal operations by the time you are scheduled to arrive on our campus next fall. In fact, we significantly reduce the number of summer programs we typically host on campus to ensure we are ready for you and other students in the fall. My purpose in speaking to you today is to congratulate you on your acceptance to Notre Dame to tell you why you will thrive at Notre Dame. All of you are exceptional individuals. You are not only among the highest achieving students across the nation and around the world, but also people with many different types of talents, the highest integrity, leadership skills, and a desire to make a difference in the world, to be a force for good in the world. In short, you are exactly the type of person we want to attend our university, to become members of our Notre Dame family. As you consider your choice of college or university you will attend, I want to suggest that the fact that the coronavirus has interrupted our normal lives actually affords you an opportunity you may not have had in a long time. Time to think and to reflect. Given your many accomplishments, leadership roles, and extracurricular activities, whether in athletics or the arts or student government or working several jobs, you are probably among the busiest, most active students at your schools. But is it possible that in working so hard to fit everything in, you left something important out? If you are like many high achieving students, you may have compiled your extraordinary records by over committing, by not getting enough sleep, by feeling pressure to perform at a high level, by not letting others down. Those focused only on success or mostly on success are always in a hurry, sometimes at the expense of attending to the beauty and life that surrounds us. We certainly recognize the value of hard work and having ambitious goals, and we don't want you to stop that. But it is equally important to us that you have balance in your lives. Let me tell you a story. I heard this story from Professor Christian Maves, an extraordinary professor at Notre Dame, whom I hope you will take if you come to Notre Dame. Some years back, a 39-year-old man decided to take part in an experiment. He sauntered into a Washington, D.C. metro station at morning rush hour, wearing jeans and a baseball cap, and he began playing an old violin. But it wasn't just any person. It was Joshua Bell, one of the greatest violinists in the world. And it wasn't just any violin. It was a Gibson X Huberman, a Stradivarius, one of the most treasured violins in existence. And it wasn't just any music. He played six of the greatest pieces ever written for violin. So in a busy subway, one of the greatest violinists in the world was playing some of the most beautiful music ever written on a vintage instrument whose sound is unsurpassed. What happened? Almost nothing. As he played, more than a thousand people entered the station. Seven, only seven, stopped to listen for a minute or more. A couple dozen more tossed some change or a dollar into his empty violin case. Everyone else walked past. They walked past what was likely the most gifted musical performance they would ever attend in their lives. Perhaps they heard the music, but couldn't stop because they were in a hurry. Or perhaps because they were in a hurry, they couldn't hear the music. As the coronavirus and social distancing require us all to slow down a bit, I encourage you to take advantage of this otherwise terrible situation to quiet yourself from time to time, to see what is really important in life. 
You will see that your classes and leadership roles and campus responsibilities are important, but that many other things matter as well. At Notre Dame, you will be pushed intellectually like never before, and you will have the opportunity to belong to any of the hundreds of student organizations on campus or to start your own. But at Notre Dame, you will also be encouraged to develop other aspects of your life, to develop your whole person, intellectually, yes, but also socially, physically, and spiritually. We want you to hear the music. If a holistic education is important to you, if you want to focus not only on pushing yourself intellectually, but also growing as a balanced, mature, ethical, interpersonally skilled person, then Notre Dame may be the university for you. We believe it is. We believe you will thrive here. That is why we admitted you. And that is why we look forward to welcoming you here in the fall. Congratulations again on being accepted to Notre Dame and best wishes for a successful completion of your senior year and for an enjoyable and successful college experience here at Notre Dame or wherever you may go. Thank you and go Irish. <laughs>